now let us look at this question in this this question is based on euler graph and uh, we know what is a euler graph and a hamiltonian graph for revision let us for revision pur purposes let us let me explain it again we have euler path euler path means if we have a graph like this then we want to visit every edge exactly once right for example uh, you can visit any vert vertices any number of times you can visit a vertex more than one number of times but you have to visit an edge exactly once so when i'm saying either path that means you start from a edge or you can start from a vertex visit all the edges exactly once like this so for this graph the euler path does exist and when i'm saying euler cy cycle or euler circuit it means that you have to come back to the starting location itself like for example for the same graph if this was a graph which we discussed now in the same graph if we start from these vertices then there exists an euler path but there does not exist a euler cycle because you have to come back to the starting vertex and you don't have to visit the edge uh, more than one time now if you have a graph like this if you have a graph like this now for this graph the euler cycle does exist how you can visit it like this you can visit the edges like this and then you can come back to the starting vertex after visiting all the edges so you can see you are coming back to the starting vertex here so that does exist a euler cycle or you can say euler circuit now for the, what is the necessary condition for euler circuit the necessary condition is the degree of every vertex should be even first first condition is or first necessary condition is the degree of every vertex should be even if you don't if in a graph the degree of all the vertices is uh, are not even then euler cycle does not exist for you can see here in this graph the degree of these two vertices is odd the degree of these two vertices is odd so you can see in these two graph the euler circuit does not exist euler path may exist but euler circuit does not exist and here in this graph the degree of every vertex is even therefore euler circuit is existing here so you can see in the both the graphs here uh, here the degree of this vertex is odd degree of this vertex is odd and the degree of this vertex is odd degree of this vertex is odd therefore this graph is not having a euler circuit here the degree of these two vertices are odd therefore this graph is not having a euler circuit hence both g1 and g2 they are not having any euler circuit okay so option number a one is false option number two is false option number three is true or you can say option number 3 is right and option number d or you can say option number 4 is false okay so now let us look at the question number 6